Hi there smart monks and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. This is my little platform where I turn struggling math students into maths masters. And I post videos weekly, so turn on the notification button and subscribe to the channel if you want to know when I post any new videos. In this video, Grade 8, I'm going to teach you all about calculating the area and the circumference of a circle. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to show you what the circumference and area actually means. I'm going to show you the formulae for these, and then I'm going to show you how to apply the formulae and answer questions on area and circumference. So, without further ado, let's get into the video! Okay, so this is our lesson on area and circumference of circles, and this falls under the topic of measurement. Okay, and just like I always like to do, I always like to make sure that you understand the terminology that's going to be used in this video. So let's start with the definition of circumference. So the circumference is the distance around a circle and is measured in standard units. So essentially, you can think of the circumference as the perimeter of a circle. So it's the length of the, if I were to take a string and keep it right at the edges of the outside of the circle, that would be your circumference. Area, however, so here the yellow, this would be your circumference. Area, however, is now the entire space that a shape takes up and is measured in units squared. So here the area is actually the entire circle, which again in this case, so the yellow here is representing circumference in the side and is representing the area in the circle. Okay, what we mean by units is when you're calculating circumference, if the question is in millimeters or in centimeters, then your answer is going to be in those same units. However, for area, if your, um, if your units are centimeters, then your answer is going to be centimeters squared. Uh, whenever we calculate area, the units are always squared. Okay, then let's look at the formula to calculate circumference and um, area. Before we do the formula, though, there's two things that you need to understand of a circle. One is that the distance from the one side of a circle through the center to the other side of the circle is known as a diameter, okay? And then the distance from the center of the circle to the, to the circumference, again, this is called your radius. So your diameter will always be two of your radius's length. So picture this, this is radius and this is radius. So the diameter will be two times radius. So your diameter's calculation is always two times radius. And the reason why I'm showing you this is because if we look at the formula now for circumference, the circumference uh, formula is two multiplied by pi multiplied by radius. Now on your calculator, pi, you'll see that they should, if you're using a scientific calculator, you'll see that pi is a specific button on your calculator. Or sometimes, depending on your school's requirements, they'll say that you can use pi as 3.14. So whichever you use there, you just make sure that you either use 3.14 or you use um, the pi button. Okay, so the circumference, so in other words, the distance around a, a circle, if I want to calculate that, it's going to be 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by radius. So the radius distance here. Some schools also say because 2 times r is the diameter, then pi times diameter can also be used as um, a formula. But anyway, let's move and see what is the formula for area. Now area is literally just taking this 2 and moving it to the square of the radius. So to calculate the area, the entire space a circle takes up, it would equal to pi multiplied by radius squared. So let's do an example so that you can see how we apply this formula. So let's say we had a diameter of 10 and we were asked to calculate the circumference and the area. For circumference, it will be 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by 5. So this 2 comes from the formula and this pi comes from the formula and 5 is essentially the radius of the circle. Okay, because the diameter is 10. And therefore, 2 times pi times 5 will equal to 31.42 centimeters. So if I were to take a string 
and wrap it right around the circle, the length of that string will be 31.42 centimeters. Okay, let's now look at the area. So the area is equal to pi multiplied by radius squared, and in our circle, the radius is 5. So pi multiplied by 5 to the power of 2 is 78.54. Take note, this is now centimeters squared because we are calculating area. And that is essentially how we calculate the circumference and the area of a circle. Now, let's do some examples. If I look at the first example, the example says calculate the circumference and the area of a circle that has a radius of 30 millimeters and then B, a diameter of 150. So we've got two circles. Um, this is one circle for question A and one circle for question B. And for both of these circles, we are required to calculate the circumference and the area for those. So let's see. For 1A, remember, we always start with our formula, 2 times pi times radius. And in the question, it says we, the 2 comes from the formula, the pi comes from the formula. But in the question, it says 30 is the radius, so I just substitute it in there, do the calculation on my calculator, and end up having 188.5 millimeters. Okay? And for that same circle, if I were to calculate the area, again, I start with the formula, pi multiplied by radius squared, and that will give me pi multiplied by 30 squared now, and so our answer is 2827 and 43 millimeters squared. Okay, so that is for A and B. Now, sorry, that is for A, circumference and area for A. Now let's look at the circumference and area for B. So take note here, the circumference formula is 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by radius. But the question is giving us the diameter, which is 150. So we then need to divide the diameter by 2 so that we can actually substitute it into the formula. And diameter 150 divided by 2 is 75. So we will solve this question by saying 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by 75. And that will then give us 471 and 24 centimeters. Okay, now let's do the area for that same circle. Again, we keep starting with the formula and then we type in, um, we substitute whatever value is given. So in this case, it's the radius squared. So our radius here is 75. So pi times 75 squared will give me 17,671 uh, 17, and 46 centimeters squared. Okay, so these are sort of like the fairly easier questions that look at a little bit more challenging questions. So number two for the second example, it says the circumference of a circle is 25 millimeters. Calculate, correct to two decimal places, the diameter of the circle. So what they're essentially doing here, grade 8, is they're giving you the circumference of the circle. And they're telling you that you have to now work back and calculate the diameter. So again, we always start with the, the, the formula in question, which is the circumference. But in this case, the circumference is now given as 25 millimeters. And we are asked to calculate R. Now, if you remember in my equations video, we all, what you do on the one side, we do on the other side, and we always isolate the variable that we're looking for. So we're looking for R. So we are going to divide both sides by 2 and divide both sides by, R, uh, by pi to essentially get R. If you struggle with this calculations, go to my equations um, video. It will help you understand how to do this. But essentially, you're going to say 25 divided by pi divided by 2. So you can think of this as we're taking this and we're moving it over. We're moving it away from the radius. Okay, so that means that the radius is then 3.9788. But the question says to two decimal places. So they want us to calculate to two decimal places, but they also want us to calculate the diameter. So we've now been able to calculate the radius. So the radius is 3.9788. But now we learned that the, rate, the diameter is 2 times the radius. So here I take the radius and multiply it by 2, round off to two decimal places. My diameter, which is what they've asked, is 7.96 millimeters. Okay, now let's look at the area, the third example where they're asking the area, or they're giving you the area of a circle, and they're saying that it's 80 millimeters squared. 
calculate correct to two decimal places the radius of the circle. So now they're giving you the area and they want you to calculate the radius. So let's see what that would look like. So again, we always start with our formula. Area is equal to pi multiplied by radius squared. But here they give us the area so we can then substitute the 80. And what we need to do again, we need to isolate r, right? So we're going to first divide by pi so that we can get rid and get r squared alone. Then we want to take that answer and we want to square root it so that we can actually find the radius. Again, this is explained in detail in my equations video. And then you end up with your radius being 5.05. So this is sort of just the more complex questions where instead of asking you to calculate the circumference or to calculate the area, they will give you the circumference and they'll give you the area and they'll ask you to work back and either calculate the diameter or the radius. Pay attention if they ask the diameter and you're using these formulas, then you need to first find the radius for the formula and then make sure you multiply by 2 to give the answer as the diameter. Okay, so let's do one more example where it's not really a perfect circle and you can see what this would look like. So this is the three quarters of a circle. Okay, and the question wants you to calculate the circumference and the area. Now remember, the circumference is the outside sides, right? So in this case, I'm going to have the three quarters of the circle, but then I also am going to have this three and this three as the outside sides. So if I were to calculate the circumference of this circle now, I would start by this part is the formula of the circumference, right? And this three quarters now is because I'm only at the whole circle, right? The whole circle is two pi radius, but I'm only having three quarters of it. So I say three quarters times the formula for the whole circle, which will then just give me this part. But I have to add the radius twice. Okay. So that I can actually find out what is the circumference of this three-quarter circle. Okay, so in this equation now, I will just substitute all the information. So by the radius, I have three. So I'll just add three everywhere, compute this in my calculator. And therefore, the circumference of this three-quarter circle, okay, is 20.14 centimeters. Okay. Let's look at an area. Now for an area, remember, it's just the entire space that's get taken up. So here we just say three quarters times the area formula for a circle. So in this case, it's three over four times pi times r squared. And that will then give you 21.21 centimeters squared. That is the area of this entire space. Okay. So these um, example three, four, and five, sorry, two, three, and four are sort of the more challenging ones. But I promise you, if you can get and grasp this, there's nothing they can really ask you that you won't be able to answer. Okay, so now let's test your understanding. Here, I'd like you to just pause the video and try these four questions. And then um, once you're done, unpause the video and then we can mark it and see how well you've done. Okay, so pause the video now. Okay, so let's see what you got and let's see, um, yeah, if you're on the right track. So question one says calculate the circumference in the area of a circle that has a radius of 38 millimeters and a diameter of 146 centimeters. So for the first question, the circumference would be 238.76 and the area would be 4536.46. Okay, and then for the second circle with a diameter of 146, you have to take the 146 and divide it by 2, and it would give you the 73, and then compute that in your calculator, and you will end up getting 458.67. Okay, and then the area you will again say pi times 73 squared, and that will give you 16,741 and 55 centimeters squared. Okay, number two, the question says the area of a circle, 850 millimeters, correct to two decimal, two decimal places, calculate the radius. 
So you had to do as follows. You substituted your um, area into the formula, and then you divided by pi, square rooted it, and then you end up with a radius of 16.45. The next question, the circumference of the circle is 90 millimeters. Calculate correct to two decimal places the diameter. So here you had to then substitute the 90 in the circumference formula, divide by pi, divide by 2, and that would give you a radius. But now remember, they're asking for the diameter, so you will take that multiplied by 2, and that will give you 28.65 millimeters. Okay, then the last question, hopefully you guys have been getting this right. If not, we can always go back to the examples, try and make sure you understand those, and then come back and try and see if you, get, uh, if you can get the correct answers again. Okay, so the fourth question says, calculate the circumference and the area of the given quarter circle now. So here what you had to do is you had to use a quarter in the formula times the circumference and then add the two sixteens, right? So that will give you 57,13 millimeters. Also the area, you'll say a quarter times pi times 16 squared. Okay, so again, this is the area formula um, and using the radius of 16, here you end up having... 201,06 meters squared. So that is the, that's how you will calculate the circumference and the area of circles. And then they can also ask you and give you the answers of the circumference and area and ask you to work back. And that is the end of our video on the circumference and the area of a circle. Alright, great night. So there's that video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, add it in the comment section below. Or if you have any recommendations for future videos, you can also add that in the comment section below. So thank you so much for watching. And hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.